All right, guys, it's been a while, but uh, this is my now basically 20 year old GX cabinet. And um, I've made some upgrades to it a little bit. Prior video, you can see what I've done on the inside. Um, but most of the changes here are exterior. So for one, um, I custom made uh, decals here, got them printed for the sides, for the front piece here. That's an original new one there. Um, and then this little strip here, make it look a little less like something, some crap off of Etsy. I thought it came out pretty good. And I did a little resin work as well. The speakers, um, let's see here. I'll give you an idea, there is some mica powder, metal flake and stuff. And I tried to get it in a way that like kind of channeled a little bit more purple on this side, a little more blue on that side, you know, with the whole XX thing. Uh, and if you have a keen eye here, you'll see, um, I actually photoshopped this whole thing. It used to say GX. And um, I used the original as a model to kind of make a new one there. I'm just calling this an XX cabinet. We got some more resin work down here. Looks pretty cool. Did a little bit on these plastic pieces here as well. And um, yeah, I just tried to kind of color, tie some color themes together. I replaced the, um, oh, well, let's get this going here, TV. Um, so we got an infrared uh, receiver up top. There we go. And um, yeah, so just a new uh, kind of entry level LG television here. 43 inches is the most you're gonna be able to do if you've made a cabinet modification like what I did. Um, and then from there, uh, basically some foam board cut and uh, some trim tape. This is what I'm looking at here. This kind of this kind of tape and um, foam board like like this kind of thing here. Yeah. Um, what else? Uh, all the speakers have been replaced. Um, the lights have been replaced. Um, I got new gels and stuff that'll like make the color a little better up there. And finally, um, the pads. Um, okay, what do we got? So for one thing, um, obviously, I uh, completely replaced uh, the steps uh, with the new bracketless uh, setup. Um, these pad connecting brackets, I got those powder coated and um, you know, kind of did this like black and brass kind of look. Um, I also got the bars powder coated. You can see how that looks, pretty cool. Nice and smooth. Um, and then the black and brass, same stuff here, looking pretty good. Okay, well, what we have now though, is just one other little small thing. And we're going to get into that now. Um, okay, got it opened all up here. And we have a, Mon a Mark 10 uh, computer box. The best I can tell here. Yeah, Phoenix main box. I'll be in there. We've got a s small stack, what do we got, like 10, uh, something like that, of uh, the AM Pass cards, we got our dongle. You get an I.O. board here, and the new ugly marquee. I don't think I'm even gonna use it, to be honest, but anyway. All right, well, so that's what we got, and um, I'm gonna get this stuff hooked up here, and let's see how it goes. Right now, um, it's running XX, it's running it slowly. I don't know what all the deal is with it, but um, we're gonna see what we got here, okay? Okay, so this is the back. I've got the um, computer taken out here. Let me show you what we're working with. So this box is um, originally a Mark VI. It was running uh, Pump It Up NX, and I took all the parts out uh, and kind of made it into a custom Mark IX. I talked about that in a prior video with this motherboard and a, um, I think, GT210 card. Um, I've tried out several different ones, and that was the 
Okay, and this is what we got with this. So you're probably interested in the insides here first. Um, eight gigs RAM, GT710 with a gig of RAM. All right, and this just comes off and it's a lot cleaner on the inside. Uh, it's a gigabyte motherboard with, I don't know if I can look at model numbers too easily here. Um, same thing here. Oh, let me see what I got, if there's anything visible here. Yeah, okay. Cool. And, um, and then this is the new IO, IO board, which uh, plugs into these Molex connectors. And I think for this cabinet, I think it, it, maybe it'll get, I'll get to um, install it up on the side there possibly. But um, yeah, so I'll get all this connected back up and let's see how that goes. All right, so far, so good. Just plugged it in, um, hooked it all up and um, here we are, let's see. Everything seemed to be pretty much plug and play. Let's get a little volume going there. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And that's it. Okay.